go. Come on, go, go. All right, 10 second runoff, guys. We're gonna be flat on our backs, arms out nice and wide, rocking our hips from side to side for 25 seconds. Turning your bed knees, keep feet and knees together. You don't have to go all the way back to the ground, guys, but you wanna get close enough where you're feeling a big stretch in your low back. We've got about 10 seconds left, staying right here on the hip crossover. Rest. So we're gonna drop one leg over, guys. We're gonna clap. Let's go. We're gonna rotate the upper body. So lower body static now, upper body's opening. Big exhale, staying on one side for the full 25. Wanted to be outside today, but the need for auxiliary charging made that tough. There's only one outlet and it's being used to blow up all the kitty toys. Rest. All right, guys, let's switch sides. Same deal, rotate the upper body. Let's go. Go for it. These guys, we want you to try and get your shoulder all the way back to the ground. Exhale as you reach back. Should help you guys get a little bit deeper into that motion. We've got about 10 seconds left on that side. Rest. So we're just gonna go alternating groiner strides now, guys. Flat foot Let's go. on the outside of the hands, pushing your hips into the ground, alternating each side. Good, big old stretch, push your Upper body inside your knee, get as low as you can. We got 10 more seconds. Rest. So now we're gonna take that crunched in position and then we're gonna extend our legs and pull up our toe. So we go down inside our knee just like you guys had it. And then you're gonna get extended on the legs and pull up your toe. So you're staying on one side the whole 25. Toe up, legs locked out at the top. Squish inside your knee on the bottom. Rest. All right, you guys, let's switch it up. Other side. Let's go. Good, good, good. Same deal, guys. Squish inside the knee as low as you can. Big exhale. Extend up. Make sure we're pulling up that front toe. 10 more seconds on this side, guys. Rest. All right, guys, we're going to hop up. Everybody's going to go 10 jump squats. Sink down nice and low. 10 jump squats. And then we're going to get our first circuit started. 10 jump squats. All righty, guys, get those 10. Megan Shanley cruising in here late, getting back into her groove. All righty, guys, so we'll talk through reps and exercises, and we'll demo real quick. So we're going to go on a 12-minute EMOM, right? EMOM every minute on the minute. You guys have a set number of reps. Do them as fast as you can. Get the remainder of that rest for a minute. Don't do them as fast as you can. The way we did the reps today, so we're doing 10 per side Bulgarian split squats. We're doing 15 per side alternating dumbbell row. We're doing a 45 second wall sit, right? So you need two dumbbells and a wall, right? Go through these just like if you're doing a regular strength set, right? Don't think of it as an imam like, I gotta crank these out, right? They're strength movements. They're not burpees, they're not jump squats. Like we want you guys to do these movements with intention and, and do them properly and you should have time to get some rest in between each of those minutes. Ah, I lied, you're also gonna need something to put your foot onto for these Bulgarian split squats. So we're gonna go 10 per side, where you guys will set your foot up on the platform back here. It can be the couch, it can be a little stand, whatever you've got. Hop out a little bit so our quads are lined up and then we drop our back knee straight to the ground, come back up. I would say good tip, is pick a point to stare at, should help with balance. You're gonna go 10 on one side, 10 on the other. You've only got a minute. So let's make sure that we get balanced really quick at the start of that minute and we do our switch really quick as well. 
You're gonna take those same two dumbbells and we're gonna go 15 alternating bent over rows. And see how I'm moving one at a time. I'm focusing on keeping my upper body square. I'm not getting way up here, right? I'm almost parallel with the ground as I'm hung down there. So you got 15 seconds there. And then our last one, I'll go my little wall over here in the corner. Feet flat, heels below the knees, hips about knee height. Oof, back against the wall, stomach tight, all right guys? So 12 minutes, so that means we're gonna go through those three four times. So everybody get your little platform set up behind you. We're gonna give you a 10 second runoff, and then you got one minute to crank out 10 and 10 Bulgarian split squats. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, Raquel's sprinting over. I got the dumbbells. I got it. Crank them out. And guys, remember, you'll see after this first, first round through here, you'll get comfortable with the timing. You're going to have enough time, right? Use the time efficiently to get enough rest, but also to do the move properly. But challenge yourself. Hey, I got to get in and out of these suckers. Woodward modifying for some split squats. That's good. Yeah, guys, if you don't have the platform, just make it a static split squat right there. We got about 30 seconds. Or if balance is tough, Beth Rosen, I'm sure you'll get it. But um, you guys can just do a static split squat where we're basically just not elevating that back leg. We don't have a platform for it. So you just stand straight tall, all right? 15 seconds, guys. Everybody's grabbing dumbbells for alternating bent Ten over seconds. rows. Job, Shanley. So make sure your cores are nice and tight. Hold the weight with your stomach muscles one at a time. Squeeze the muscles behind your armpit. Pull it with your back and your shoulder pinching towards the center of your spine. Don't pull it with your hand and your elbow and your arm. Use the muscles we want you to use. Another good cue. Raquel, you're going to go one at a time, girl, one at a time. Yep. Boom, there you go. And guys, another good cue for these, pull those shoulders down, right? Don't let your traps creep up. I think one of the most unspoken potential fears of strength training for women or outspoken, depending on who you're talking to, is getting bulked up shoulders, right? Use your scap muscles to pull those shoulders away from your ears, right? Keep them low, drive your elbow towards your hip. 15 seconds, guys, we're all gonna grab a wall for 45 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 45 second wall sit here, guys. So now that we've got a feel, all right, those kind of take just about a minute. Looks like some of you guys got about 20 seconds here or there. So just use that time to make sure you're getting through the reps the proper way. They look nice. 15 seconds in, guys. And then we're going to go through three more times on those three. Nice, easy Monday, three exercise strength set. We don't get too crazy. Don't anyone sprinting out ahead. We're all going to stay in the pack, right? In the peloton, a little right loop. There. 15 seconds, guys. 10 seconds, actually. Feet nice and flat. Keep the back against the wall, shoulders against the wall. Pull that belly button in. Squeeze everything inside. And rest. 15 seconds. Rest, rest, rest. Everybody up. All righty, guys, we're going to go back to those Bulgarians. Seconds. You got 10 seconds to so get your platform set up, get your feet set up, get those weights hung by your side. Go for it, guys. Go for it. My favorite cues on these, push your front knee forward, your back knee down to the ground, and then let your torso lean naturally with that movement, right? Let your legs dictate where the rest of your body needs to go responsibility of the rest of the body is just to stay stay tight right so don't over arch your back to keep your chest up don't do anything extra just squeeze everything else and then let the legs kind of dictate which way the rest of the body moves 10 a piece for right at that 30 second mark right there if you haven't switched you better hustle up good job Raquel. good job legs michelle perfect good job shanley Shanley, I can't tell if you're doing, you got something behind you or not, but that treadmill, even just that, that little bit of elevation. 10 um, seconds. Is good if you don't have anything for the uh, Bulgarians. All right, guys, now we're going to go to our 15 per side, alternating rows, bending over at the hips. 
Same deal, guys, right? Now the legs are static. The legs are holding the body in position. And we're using the rest of that, right? So you should feel these pulls in your back a little bit, right? Use those all that back muscle on the back side of your rib cage, man. Baby back ribs. That's what we're using. And when you drop that weight down, keep tension. Keep squeezing your hand. Drop it down with intention, with purpose, purposeful movement. That's what we're looking for. Nice job, Kev. Halfway there. Kev, good. Swipey, swipe, good, Michelle. Great job, guys. Yep, one dumbbell at a time, right? We're not moving them both at the same time. We got 20 seconds for you there. We're going right back to our wall set. Now that we got the timing down, if you guys want to add two dumbbells, holding them down seconds. by your sides during your wall sit, Go for it. I know, yeah, leg, we're grabbing some weights, good. So I want you guys, we can hold these a number of different ways, but for today, let's hold them down by our side and feel those shoulders getting pulled down, right? That's the kind of sensation you want on your rows where you don't start with them up here. We have them nice and low, then we set up, then we pull, all right? So if any of you guys grab the weights, dumbbells down by your sides, that can help just put your kind of muscle memory in there as to what we mean when we say lower your shoulders, bring your shoulders down, etc. Halfway, or excuse Halfway me, we got 15 there. seconds left, guys. I've been saying etc. a lot more distinctly than x, etc. like with an x. And I've been trying to explain my difference to my wife and it's become an argument that we really shouldn't be having. Rest! I'm like, it's two words and there's no X. You need to know that for, for our child's well-being. Latin? Anybody? I don't know. Five seconds, guys. Bulgarians, number three. Ten apiece. All righty. Back foot's up. We're sinking that back knee straight into the ground. That front knee and ankle should be pushing forward a little bit. Rest of the body staying nice and tight, right? Your focus is squeezing chest to waistline with your ab muscles. So you got big chest, but then pull yourself together with those ab muscles in the front. Fight the ears to arch your back and flare your ribs out. Ten apiece, guys. Ten apiece. Good job, man. Good job. Halfway you there. guys are awesome at these. Halfway. If you haven't switched, you better hustle up. Good job, Kev. Good job, guys. Shanley, that's perfect. Purposeful movement, right? Lower, come back up. We've got 10, ten seconds. seconds, guys. 10 seconds, you're dropping down to your dumbbell alternating rows. So think about those of you guys. Low shoulders, tight stomach, lean forward, elbow to the hip. Raquel, if you tighten up your feet a little bit, they'll come up a little smoother along your side. Shanley, one at a time, girl. Kevo, nice work, buddy. So when I say stick your chest out, guys, I'm more mean. Pull your shoulders back, right? Don't flare your rib cage and stick your chest out, but make sure it's opened up, right? We're not rounded over. Nice job, Beth Rosen. Nice job, Allegra. Good work, guys. Good work. Perfect. Wait there. You got 30 seconds, 30 seconds. We're going to go 45-second wall sit, and then we got one more pass through. Pace is perfect on all you guys. Nice little time strength set. 15 seconds, guys. We're going to our wall set. Grab those dumbbells if you can. If they're seconds. too heavy, grab one of them and hold it at goblet. Five seconds, guys. 45 seconds on the wall set. Here we go. Here we go. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go again. Oh, nice job, Raquel. Holding it low. I like that. Good job, good. Eyes up, chest up, let those shoulders drop, guys. Feel that stretch. We should just be holding it in the rounds of our fingertips, not even squeezing. Just let those guys pull your shoulders out. We've got 20 more seconds, 20 more seconds. Good Half job, guys, there. good job. Come on, stay in there, 10 more seconds, looking good. Stiff as a board, light as a feather. Stiff as a board, light as a feather. Rest, rest, rest. What move is that from? Um, we're going back up to our Bulgarians, guys. Ten per side, one last time. Pristine form on this last one. 
Go, go, go. One minute for 10 per side Bulgarians, guys. Remember, legs are telling the rest of the body where to go. Move from the bottom of your foot up. Don't think about, oh, I got to get down there. Think about bringing the floor to you. About 20 seconds in, guys. Should be rounding toward the end of that first leg. Nice job, guys. Balance, balance is awesome all across the board. Not much wobble right there. Nice job, Raquel. Make sure we're getting all the way up. Squeeze your butt underneath your hips. Full extension of the leg. Got to get that last round in. Nice and clean. Nice job, Kevo. 15 seconds, guys. Get them done. We're going to our 15 per side. Dumbbell seconds. alternating rows. Move with purpose in both directions. Don't just let them slot back to the ground. Lower them with your muscle. There you go, guys. Everybody should know, have a feel for those low shoulders now, all right? Kev, don't scrunch your head forward, brother. Eyes up. There you go. Perfect world, guys. You want to be staring where your chest is pointing. That should keep your head nice and lined up with your spine. It's a little, it seems like such kind of a little thing, like, hey, man, what's the difference between my, my eyes being straight down or straight up or, you know, neutral or whatever? It makes a difference, right? It tenses muscles. You guys want to be relaxed. Halfway there. Puts bones and joints in positions you'd prefer not. What's up, baby? <laughs> my Tasmanian devil wants to join us. 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds. We're going back to our wall set. Bottom load those Ten dumbbells. Seconds. Make this the last one. Nice and challenging. We'll give you guys a quick breather. We'll get moving a little faster. Here you go, guys. Here you go. 45 seconds. All right. Okay. 12 minutes in. Everybody's looking pretty good. We got some sweat. Not a ton of huffing and puffing yet. We don't have hands on knees, but we'll get there. Looking good, guys. Perfect. All the way around. Nice job, everybody, with the weights. Back flat against the wall, guys. Sink those hips down to knee height. Hello. We have 15 more seconds, and we're going to get a nice breather for you guys. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Hanging on for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one and everybody up. Well done. Strength set one. Ten seconds. Finito. Good work. Good work. I want to get like an audience track so I could like play like hey at the end of each so you guys don't have to like unmute left and right. All right. So as promised, we're going to move a little faster on our second one here. We are going to be going 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest on some jump squats and some push-ups with a T rotation. I knocked my dumbbell under my foot for the 15th time. So jump squats, you guys know and love. Uh, one thing I stressed in the little instructional video today and have been talking about a lot as we go through this break, when you guys do your jump squats, it's a squat, right? You guys should get all the way down into your squat and jump out, right? You see that like the toes and my feet aren't getting all that high off the ground, but as soon as those toes touch that, that oriental rug we got here, whew, sink all the way into my spot, right? Nice, soft catch. As if you guys are lowering your body with weight, right? Plyometrics gonna add additional gravity to that landing. You guys are trained to do it with weight. It's the same thing. Push up with a T rotation. Elbows going out wide. When you come out of that push up, turn and open up, pivoting on your foot, drop. Oh, the more that you can like turn into the ground and go right into your push-up, the more challenging it's going to be. But that's what we want it to look like. Whole half of your body moving, closing up for a push-up, whole half of your body opening back up. All right? Cool bean, no equipment necessary. All right, guys. 10-second runoff. We're starting with jump squats with a full-depth squat. Whew for the squat portion of our squat jump. Here we go. Come on. Good. Full landing, right? We want you to get full depth. Come on, get down there, Woodward. Imagine you've got 185 on your back. That's how deep we want that final depth to be. And then jump out of the bottom. Get 
all the way in there as if you had all the weight of the world on your shoulders. Rest, 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 rest. rest. Push ups with the T rotation, guys. Five seconds. Everybody should be on the ground already. Let's go. Let's go. Drop down, open up, pivoting on the toes. Trying to start your turn even before you almost get all the way out of that push up. This is adding a little bit of core, a little bit of balance. Mostly just getting the heart rate up a little bit quicker than our standard push up. Three, two, one. Rest, rest, rest. We're going back jump spots. Try and be explosive out of the bottom of that jump, guys, right? Don't stand out of your spot and then hop, explode from the very bottom. Let's go, let's go. Soft landing all the way deep into your squat, just like those Bulgarians, right? Let your legs dictate what your upper body does. Keep that tight core. Do all the same stuff. Good, Woodward. Good, Rosen. Allegra. Raquel, very explosive. Good. Get down there, Shanley. Rest, rest, rest. rest. Push-up rotation number two. Push-up rotation number two. Come on. Let's go, go, go. Your feet should pivot as you pick up your hand, guys, right? Should be each half of the body moving away from the ground. Try and, try and make the time that you're on one arm and balls of your feet longer, right? Create that rotation as soon as you come out of the push-up. Rest, 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 guys. We're going back to our nice deep jump squats. Number three. Number three. Let's go. Come on, Shannon, get down there. Raquel, I've never seen you with a barbell on your back, but I bet you'd get nice and deep if you did, because those are some pretty good jump squats. Kevo, come on, buddy. Good job. Oh, there's a little one at the Woodward House. Come on, get up there, guys. Let's go. Be explosive. Rest, 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 rest. Push up T rotation, guys. Now we got some hands on knees. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Half of the body opening up. Good job, Michelle. Good job, Allegra and Beth. Half of the body opening up, guys. Shift into the other side. Should be that much more weight coming into your hands for your push-up. Rest, 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 rest. We got one last jump squat. And when I say one last, I mean it. This is actually our last set of jump squats for the day. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, full depth. Make it look, oh, shit. Oh, I have my shoes untied. Classic, classic. I made that move up. 10 seconds, guys. Come on, full depth. Explode out of the bottom of that squat. Like you're Odell Beckham or somebody trying to make a fourth down catch. Rest, 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 guys. Let's go. Push ups with the rotation. Open the body up halfway. Drop back down. Let's go. Last rest. Come on. Last time through on the push ups with the rotation, guys. Elbows should be going below the shoulders. Nice low shoulders, just like our rows and our, our uh, wall sits from before. Don't want big traps. Good job, guys. Good job. Well rest, 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 rest. Put your hands on your knees. Grab a couple sips of water. I will tell you guys what we're doing next. All right, everybody survived, it looks like. Good, we got some water sipping. We got some hands on hips. That's fine. That's what we're looking for. All right, guys, so next circuit's going to be a lot, uh, just like the first one. Hello. Strength reps. Right, so we're working from an EMOM fashion. Every minute on the minute, doing a set number of reps, getting the rest, but again, do them with intention, with purpose. We programmed it so that it's like a strength set, but we're keeping everybody at pace. First one's gonna be 20 dumbbell thrusters. So that's a front rack squat, where you go into a full depth squat, and you drive up, you push those dumbbells overhead, dip back down. So as always, man, I always say this, lower the weights with your legs, Raise the weights with your legs, punch the ceiling, right? It's a squat, and you use that squat, just like those jump squats. Be powerful. Use your lower body to get those weights up. 20 there. Then we're going to go 20 total renegade rows. So we just did that push-up with the rotation. Now we're working on the pull version of having one limb doing work at a time, all right? So we're going to go 10 per side there, 20 total. And then what's our last guy? So I have it written as dead bug hold. 
some people call this like an iron chair, but basically we're going to have you guys get up on your butt, small your back, bent knees, hold your arms out nice and long with a slight lean back in the big chest, right? So I'm not crunched up like this. I'm trying to create 90 degree angles everywhere. Huh? And you're going to hold that for 45. All right. So remember, move with intention. You're going to get some rest. We want everything to look nice and clean. Cool. So let's go two dumbbells. Can I do guys. Push -ups in the rows? One more time. Can we do push -ups in the rows or just, just rows? Just the rows. Yep. 10 per side on the rows. Good question, though. All righty, guys. Let's crank it out with the thrusters to start. We'll give you a 10 second runoff. Ooh, could you bring me a seltz? 20 reps, guys. 20 reps. There you go. Full depth, right? Think about the other movements you guys do that you get coached and chirped at for. Everybody finally got depth on those jump squats, right? Let's get the depth on these guys. It's the same thing. It's explosion. It's strength. It's trying to push yourself through something, whether it be extra gravity from the jump or weights at your shoulders. 20 reps. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Halfway through, guys. Halfway Make sure there. elbows are stacked underneath those weights, right? Stacked joints. Shoulder underneath the elbow, underneath the wrist. Think about driving your elbow through that dumbbell. You got 15 seconds, guys, and we're going to be dropping down to our renegade rows, 10 per side. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. Go, go, go. 10 per side renegade rows. Move slow, right? I want that dumbbell back to the ground quietly. I want no movement. I want no shift. I want you guys thinking about where does my toe go on my working side when I move my hands? Where does it go when I put, you know what I mean? Feel which way you're rocking and rolling when you move those weights and try and fight against that movement. We want you guys to be statues from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes with the exception of that nice clean row up your side. Take your time. We got plenty of time in the minute for all those beautiful, see you guys? Family going to pick up some all natural dog CBD supplements at Earth Animal in Westport. Great establishment, really nice people. If you're part of the like seconds. natural dog movement, which we are. But stay away from Blue Buffalo, dude. Enlarged hearts. Watch out for that. Alrighty, guys. Dead bug hold. Dead bug hold. Chest is out. Knees are bent. Arms are extended. Big chest. Try not to move at all. If you squeeze those low abs, you can probably take a little strain off of your hip flexors, but the hip flexors should be activated too, holding your, uh, your legs up like that. Make sure your shins are a little bit away. Don't let your feet fall towards your butt. You guys got 20 more seconds in that position. And just like planks, guys, we are talking this last week. Halfway there. Squeeze as tight as you can in every ISO movement. As you get tired of holding that contraction, relax. Take a breath. Do it again, right? I try to do, you know, I'm not doing a full contraction the length of my plank. Rest, 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 15 seconds. But I am trying to do five seconds, hold, hold, Ten hold, seconds. take a breath. Same deal on any ISO. We're going back to our thrusters, guys. You got five seconds. Let's go. Full squat, let your legs do the moving. When you're thinking about how do I do this, what am I telling my body to do? Try and get it. Think about having as many joints in your mind doing the work as you can, right? So think about your legs being underneath those dumbbells, your hips being underneath those dumbbells, your elbows, your shoulder, and just push all that effort through that chain of joints, right? Starts in your feet and your ankles, then into your knees, then into your hips, up your back, all the way through your arm into the ceiling of that dumbbell. Great job, guys. 20 reps. Make sure we get some good deep breaths in once we get those done. 20 seconds till our next minute. Good job, guys. Good depth on the squats. Don't get cheap on me. Biggest vacation. 10 seconds. Randy Quaid. All-star performance. All right, guys, we're going renegade rows. Super clean here. 
Go, 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 go. We've set up the Imam so that you guys have the opportunity to get some rest, but we're also forcing you, hey, slow down, take your time. Nobody's gonna dust you. We want everybody doing things perfect. We want you guys doing with as little rest as we need. That's how we get better at stuff. Good job, Shanley. Great job. Everybody's doing a good job setting up each row, right? It's not this one constant thing, right? Each move takes time. Got about 30 seconds. If you're not halfway through, you might want to pick it up a little bit, but make sure they look as good as you can. Good job, Raquel. Good job, Kevo. 20 seconds, guys. You're going back to that dead bug hold, iron chair hold, whatever we want to call it. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Today's boot camp brought to you by Schweppes. Lemon lime sparkling seltzer water. All right, guys, on your butts, on the old coccyx, bottom of that tailbone. Knees at a 90 degree angle. Good job, Shanley. Shanley, extend those arms, girl. You got this. Shanley looks like she's having a cup of coffee. She's just chilling in that iron chair. Rosen's not even moving. I like it. A leg or good. Michelle, good. Really good, guys. Nice job. Stick the chest out, shorten the abs. And again, any ISO movement, you guys got 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Squeeze as long as you can, tight as contraction as you can for however many seconds. Release, breathe, five more seconds. And rest 15, guys. We're back to the top, back to our thrusters. Ten we are seconds. two times through here. Come on. Here we go. Full squat. Remember, let the legs dictate where the rest of the body goes. But you guys are holding tight, staying contracted, squeezing your stomach, pinching your shoulders back, keeping your shoulders low. There's a million things we could say, right? Swing thought for the day. Let your legs tell the rest of the body where to go. Use the legs. This is certainly a full body movement, but the legs are the bigger parts of the body. They're doing more of the work. So we're gonna call it a leg movement. Perfect guys, come on, crank them out. It's all about just dropping into that next one. Don't take the break, wait for the rest at the end. We got 20 more seconds. It's tough maintaining this pace, right? You know, it might be easy the first round or two to get those 20 in in a minute. That rest might get a little bit shorter as you guys go on, but make sure we're keeping, just crank them out. Keep them moving. Keep the form nice and clean. Let's go, guys, down for our Renegade Rose. Remember, quiet dumbbells, statuesque robotic movement. We want to be under control, as under control as humanly possible. Play with your foot position, right? Maybe feet are going to be a little bit wider. We'd rather you have a wider quote unquote easier base and not move anywhere else than we would a narrow base with slight movement everywhere else, right? Yeah, maybe that helps progress you, but we always want to be super duper clean. Halfway there. Activate the core, squeeze your butt, everything solid, just like a plank, then pull. If you want to relax when you put that dumbbell back down, that's all good. Squeeze everything again, pull. Perfect world. We're super tight the whole time. 15 seconds, guys. We're going back to our dead bug hold, and we'll have one more pass through on these three. 10 seconds. All right. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lean her back. Stick the chest out. Extend the arms. Remember, we really don't want to be rounded forward. Squeeze those shoulders back and down. That creates a big chest. I'm not arching my back, I'm squeezing up front and I'm pulling my shoulders back, right? All of you guys have, oh man, so I get AP news alerts like on my phone and they come through obviously even when I'm doing this and I'll be like talking to you guys about iron chairs and it'll just be like really drastic breaking news and it throws me sometimes. But I won't spoil alert anything. Nothing too crazy happens. Same old BS. Seven, six, Five. Time, time, time. Rest, rest, rest. Let's go back one more time, guys. Ten we got seconds. 20 thrusters. We got 10 aside renegade rows. And we got one more dead bug hold for the 45 seconds. Let the legs do the work. 
legs feed the wolf. The legs feed the wolf. What movie? 20 reps, guys. Get through them in one shot, right? Keep those feet on the ground. Make sure we're balanced through that whole sole of your sneaker, right? Heel, midfoot, toe, everything pushing evenly into the ground, right? Your, your feet should be so stable, it should feel like they're not involved in any way. They're just down there, glued Halfway to there. the ground for you guys to push off of. Good job, guys. Let's go. Crank them out. 22, 21. There's some rest to be had. Get some rest. Good job, Woodward. Finish them off, girl. Nice job. Hands on hips. Love it. 10 seconds, Ten guys. Seconds. Everybody should be getting down in that renegade row position one last time. And go, 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 go. Perfect, guys. Finish strong on these. We should be able to get 20 of these in nice and clean the whole minute. Plenty of time to do a nice... Nice clean round at 20 Renegade rows. Good job. The most minute shift humanly possible, guys. And we got one more dead bug hold. Halfway there. 26, 25, 24. Get some rest. Get some rest. There's some rest to be had. Come on with it, guys. Let's go. Come on. 15 seconds. Let's get our last dead bug hold. 45 seconds. 10 seconds. Kind of got this little meat left on the bone here, guys. We got some work to do. It's going to be great. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 45 seconds. Nice and tight. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Oh, we're getting high fives on the Rosen crew. Love it. Perfect. Nice job, Shanley. Shanley's like, like, Shanley like posing, like planking for an Insta or something. I like it. <laughs> well done. Oh, man. I can't wait to see you guys. This is so fun. 15 seconds, guys. 15. <laughs> the mute communication we've all learned over these past couple months has been we're on point. We don't even need to talk to each other anymore. Five seconds, guys. Stay up, stay up, stay up. And rest, 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 rest. Roll back on them backs. Guys, seconds. we're going to keep it moving. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to transition into a Tabata. 20 on, 10 off. We're doing seal jacks and chest to ground burpees. Seal jacks. Pulling the arms out wide instead of going overhead, right? I want us to go really fast. If we're thinking about like functional movement and what should I be paying attention to? Tight stomach, light feet, and squeeze your shoulder blades together as you go through that seal jack, right? So that one's gonna be a little lighter, but try and push that pace as fast as you can. And then we got chest ground burpees, the truth. Um, you guys know how to do that. So we're just gonna let you, let you work on that on your own. All right, so we got 20 and 10. Seal jacks and burpees. We're starting with our seal jacks. Everybody up, 10 second runoff. And we're gonna crank them out. Seal jacks. This, this, this is the easy one. Well, let's get pace up nice and high. Let's go. 20 seconds of seal jacks. Come on, come on, come on. Loosen up those arms, man. Let those, let those chest muscles and back muscles you guys have been working all day. Open them up. Eight, seven. Six, five. Rest, 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 rest. Ten seconds, guys. All right, chest to ground burpee. Stomach tight. Knees through the shoulders should be hitting the ground pretty much at the same time. Let's go. Here we go. 20 seconds. Come on. How many can we get? Let's see what you got, Raquel. I don't think we've ever counted your reps before. There's one. There's two. Come on, girl. You're, fish, you, you're part of the family long enough where we're going to start yelling at you for. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Seven. Rest. Oh, she dropped down for another one. Well done. Nice job. I like that. Love seeing the burpee after the, after the final buzzer count starts. Seal jacks, guys. Seal jacks, seal jacks, seal jacks. 
I watched some Italian soccer this weekend, guys. It was awesome. Sports were on. English Premier League's coming back on Wednesday. I don't know if the NBA is going to come back. There, it's, there's lots of discussions going on there. Baseball, who knows? But rest, rest, rest. We're going back to our burpees. But sports entertainment is returning, albeit with digital fans in the crowd. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Burp it up. Burp it up. Burp it up. Come on with it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get through these. We got a little bit of core we're going to finish with, and then you're on your way. Come on, 10 seconds. Let's go. Get down there. Just get that little hot. Attack in the floor. As soon as your toes touch, drop them back. Fall into the ground. Good job. Rest, rest, rest. rest. You guys are better men and women than me. I would, if I heard that 17-second warning beep, oh, man. Let's go. Seal jacks. Come on. Seal jacks. Three of four. Three of four. Come on. Clap them together. What was that Seal movie back in the day? Oh, not Arthur. Babe was the pig movie. Shit, what was that seal movie in the 90s? Three, two, one. Seal Jack's done. We're going back to our third burpee, guys. And then we're going to be one more time through. Let's get her done. Let's go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get them done. Only burpees of the day. Only burpees on the day. 10 seconds, guys. We got one more round of these guys after this. Come on. Oh, well done, guys. Well done. One more seal jack, one more burpee. We gave you guys a lot of work today. We're going to finish with a little, little core, but something to be working the legs. Let's go, let's go. Seal jack it up. Come on. Keep that pace up. You're almost out of here, guys. Oh, we're going to have a nice, nice, nice little lower body slash core finisher. Seven, six, five. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Rest, 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 rest. Oh, last burpee. Last burpee. Last burpee, you mother. Mm -hmm. There's kids here. Go, 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 go. Come on. Eight's got to be the number. We got to see it. Here you go, Allegra. Two. Three. Four. Oh, she's going to get eight. Eight's the number, guys. Come on. Eight's the number. Five. Six. Seven. You got one more leg. Yeah. Eight. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Rest. All right. We'll get right into it. This will be at your guys' own pace. Ideally, it's a quick one. Keeping the legs going. We've got 30 air squats. Full depth air squats. Everybody should already have started those. 30 air squats. Then you guys got 20 V ups. Fully extend the arms. Oh, chest going into the knees with nice extended limbs under control for 20. And then we've got 10 per side. Side lying leg raises or Jane Fonda's. Focusing on keeping your tailbone tucked, squeezed nice and tight. 30 air squats and we're down for 20 V ups, guys. Hey, Jack, I gotta go, but thank you so much. You got it. on Saturday. See you again yep. Monday. Four Bye. or two. All righty. So we're going to get an extra, extra circuit instead of stretch today, guys. How's that sound? 30 air squats, 20 V-ups. Come on. I know we've done plenty of work today, guys, but no reason not for a little bit more. These guys are at your pace, 20 V-ups. Then we got 10 per side, side lying leg raises. We're going to go three total rounds. Come on. Shoulders off the ground, sit up. Think about that iron chair. That's what we're trying to get up into. Shins toward the knees, reach for the toes. Play some, do some V-ups while they're playing Fortnite behind you. Go outside, kids. We'll shoot some hoops. It's 10.30 a.m., burning daylight. Side-lying leg raise, guys. You're gonna lay on your arm and you're gonna raise your leg up. If you've got a mini band, wrap it around your low calf, but I want you guys to point your toe, squeeze your butt as tight as you can, and then raise your leg, really focusing on just the outside of your hip. The challenge is doing it right. You know what I mean? It's, it's, you can do a million of these, but let's get that tailbone tucked, squeeze your butt into a fist, raise that leg out sideways, 10 per side. 
mini band, if you got that on, obviously you're not gonna be able to get as high. Toe cocked down towards the ground, guys. That way we're really fixating on pushing out with that hip as opposed to opening up the leg and the toe. Then we're back to our 30 air squats, guys. You guys got nice, loose lower bodies right now, man. Those should feel like rubber bands bouncing in and out of that, that squat. But be as judicious in your thought process, right? Knee going forward. A lot of big words today. Knees going slightly forward and out. Sit your torso in between your hips, right? Make room for your upper body by moving your legs out of the way. Push those guys out ever so slightly. Get your butt as close to your heels as you can. Keep those feet flat. Don't lose balance onto your toes. 30 air squats, 20 V-ups, 10 per side. Side, line, leg, raise, a.k.a. Jane Fonda's, a.k.a. sideline hip abductions. Those are the only other names I know for that exercise. Come on, guys, let's go. Bounce out of those air squats. Come on. This is 30 air squats is something we should all start our day with. I might, I might need to institute that. Direct messages, Instagram stories of you doing your 30 squats every single morning. Come on, let's go. Looks like it looks like the majority of the crowd's on that second V up, if not the leg raises. And then you're through one last time, guys. So it's a nice, meaty 50 minute workout. Well, no, I don't like to count the warm up. So we're right around that 45 mark once we finish this third round. A lot of work, though, gang. Let's put the effort in today. We like it. We like it. Take your time on those side laying leg raises. Another an easy exit exercise, but make sure we're doing them right all the way through that third circuit. Nice job, Beth, on that squat depth. Good job, Kev. Nice modifier. Raquel looking good on the leg raise. Really trying to keep that quad and toe pointed straight ahead of us, guys, right? Don't let it open up towards the ceiling. Really trying to keep that leg locked out. Bend at the hip, right? Push out from the hip. Think about the, the closest piece of your body to the joint that's moving and work on moving that. I want to move an inch below my hip joint. I don't want to worry about moving my foot. Move my hip. Nice job, Rosens. Rosens, Rosens got something good after this. I can tell the pace over there is picked up exponentially. Not kidding. You guys, you guys have been high effort the whole day. Let's go, guys. There you go, last 30 air squats. There we go, everybody's starting that last 30. Come on. Good job, Raquel, good pace, man. Way to get it done. Come on, Kev, we're almost out of here, baby. Good job, man, good job. Extend the hamstrings, bend the knees. Bounce on out, guys, good, good, good. Oh, we should be sitting on our bums after this workout, man. You guys worked hard. 30 air squats, 20 V-ups, 10 per side. Sign like leg raises. Let's go. Get it done. Get her done, guys. Let's go. Good job, Woodward. You got 20 V-ups left, man. You got 20 V-ups and 10 sideline leg raises. Good, Raquel. Good modify with the knee bend. Come on, Kevo. Finish those 30 out, buddy. Looking good, guys. Everybody doing an awesome job. Finish strong here. Get the heck out of here. Get out of the gym. Go enjoy the summer. Exercise is awesome, but chilling out, goofing around in the summer is, is I mean, awesome priority-wise. is definitely higher on the list. Like, if you could just have fun and do cool stuff all the time but be shredded and feel great internally, I mean, I'd sign up for that. I'd still want to play sports, though. Like, you could take – squats and deadlifts away but i still want to have to be able to go play some basketball or a little cross get the old hard ball out there with the rosens you guys out of here good job looks like everybody's finishing up once you guys get those last leg raises you're good to go stretches on you this today guys
Hey, thank you, Jack. Thank Have a good you. day. Thank you. Great to see you guys. Have a good one. Hey, Raquel. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks. You got it. Come on, Kevo, finish it up. We still got to work that booty, my man. Get him done. 10 per. Nice job, Legger. Good to see ya. See you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good one. Thanks, Jack. You, Thanks, Jack. Jack. you got it, buddy. Have a good one. Have a good one.